Hi there. My name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. Previously in EC 2026 Introduction to Signal Processing, we looked at finite impulse response filters that could exactly null undesired frequencies by placing zeros at the points on the unit circle corresponding to those frequencies. The trouble with the FIR filter approach is that the valleys around the nulls may be wider than what you want. There may be frequencies you want to let through that are near the frequencies you want to eliminate, but those frequencies you want to let through wind up heavily attenuated. In this lecture, we'll see how we might improve on that situation by going to infinite impulse response filters. Suppose we want to completely eliminate the digital frequency of 0.7 pi. We can place zeros at angles of plus minus 0.7 pi on the unit circle. The game we're going to play is to place a couple of poles at the same angles, but pulled towards the origin a bit. Of course, for the filter to be stable, we need the poles inside the unit circle. So writing the filter in terms of factors with the individual poles and zeros looks like this. Now, this particular constant that we stuck out in front, that's there in order to normalize this filter to have a gain of 1 at dc. You could take just this part of the transfer function and figure out what its dc gain is by plugging in z equals 1 because 1 is e to the j0. And then you can take the reciprocal of that to figure out this normalization factor. Of course, you could then multiply this by whatever you want if you want some other gain at dc. Looking at the magnitude of the frequency response, we see we now have a very narrow notch here. Essentially what happens is that on the unit circle, that zero conquers all. So you get this complete nulling at that particular frequency. But away from that particular frequency, the zero and the pull wind up fighting. So while the zero is trying to pull down the frequency response, which would create a wide valley, the pull is counteracting that effect. Now let's see what happens if we bring the poles closer to the origin and drop the magnitude of the poles from 0.97 to 0.5. And we've also updated this normalization constant to give unity gain at DC. So here we see that the notches are much wider, although they're not as wide as they would be if the poles were eliminated entirely. In any case, to have an effective notch filter, you would want these poles to be closer to the unit circle. But in practice, you can't put the poles too close to the unit circle because issues related to finite precision can lead to problems.